Hey guys, it's Hannah. Hey guys, it's Shalini. And today we're gonna talk about Delirium being made into a TV show. So I'm actually okay with Delirium being made into a TV show because since the end of Requiem, I have so many unanswered questions and I'm not gonna spoil what the end of Requiem is. So you can like watch this if you haven't read it, but just it's not resolved enough for my taste. And so I'm okay with the TV show now. Before that, like after Pandemonium, I was like, don't touch perfection, get away, step off. But I feel differently now. Such an interesting concept, it's so the whole good. book. And that's why I'm so happy that it's a series because I really don't think, like, after reading it and thinking about the whole casting idea, I'm, they couldn't have done that in a movie. Even three, they couldn't have done it. Yeah. And there's so many different perspectives that it can take because we don't know so much with Lena. Yeah. Like, I would love to be in Julian's head more. I would love to be in Thomas Feynman's head a lot. Yeah. And then I want to know, I would really, really love this, the, the guy who came up with the whole idea of surgically... I would love to be in his head. I want to know how be, it came about. Like, at the beginning of the Hunger Games, whenever they were like, in penance for war against the countries, like, yeah. this is what happened, and this what is what Backstory created the Hunger all. Games. Like, how cool would it be to figure out, like, Einstein coming up with a cure for love? With a TV show, we can expand on this. Just think that... A TV show is a good thing for this book, even though I, I'm not completely okay with the TV show idea because there is more room to make error. I've heard so many rumors about them making Delirium, like the book Delirium, the first book, into one episode, which is going to be the first episode. And that makes me really sad because Delirium is the best book out of the whole series. I'm not okay with one episode being Delirium, and I'm gonna tell you why. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're not gonna be able to care for the characters. Within one episode, you don't, like, have this extreme, if they die, you cry, feeling towards characters. And then, at the end of Delirium, with Alex sacrificing himself so Lena could be free, that, that can't happen in one episode. Like, their whole relationship and then this sacrifice and understanding the world... That can't happen in one episode. Like, I really hope that that's not going to happen. Yeah, it, you can't. You can't. In order for d this TV show to work, you have to be able to like the characters. Like, you can't just jump into it and be like, this is Lena, this is Alex, this is a relationship, this is Hannah. Like, we don't talk to, about mm -hmm. her anymore after the first episode. Like, what are they, they going to do? Because, they like... It should be... Like, I get they don't want to do a whole scene because there was a lot of building in yeah. Delirium. It's like world building and understanding. And that could be brought out in a TV show a lot easier because it's all visual and it could just be things that we witness as she's going about doing things and we could piece that together on our own. But I'm so, I actually think that the first episode is going to be like the end of Delirium and then work backward in time like two months earlier and then we go through it that way. Yeah. It, I think that would be... Even though I don't like that idea, yeah. I I like that. That's better it. than putting Delirium into one episode. I just that's the only way I can figure that <coughs> them saying Delirium in one episode is like the book in condensed form and then we go about seeing how it happens throughout the season. I don't like that, but I think that's the only way it could happen. Which cast member are you most happy with? I'm most happy with Emma, Emma Roberts. Roberts being Lena. Because in the book she describes herself as pretty but not pretty. And Emma Roberts is pretty, mm -hmm. but she's not like the regular pretty, like how Hannah's pretty. Like she's Thank you. different pretty. You, <laughs> you are just gorgeous. Oh. I'm also most happy with Emma Roberts as Hannah because one, she's a really big name actress. She's a sister of Julia Roberts. Everyone knows who she is. And I feel like that's going to bring a lot of audience to it. Originally, I don't know who I saw as Alex. Alex was his own person in my head. He was his own character. And I felt like whoever they cast won't really matter to me because I have such a clear idea of who he is in my head. Yeah, I'm super happy with her. And those of you who have watched previous Delirium videos know I'm not the biggest Julian fan. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't dislike him, but just I don't want him for Lena because it's just not right in my brain. It's the first love thing. That's why I think Julian is attached to her because it was his first encountering with that emotion. He loved her, but he didn't, he wasn't familiar with the concept of love because it was always just this bad thing, it was this disease, and they didn't, ha there was no difference between like, lust, and love. So I feel like that's why he has a special attachment to her because he was, she was his first. But I'm really happy with who they chose as him. It's Greg Sulkin, right? Mm -hmm. Greg Sulkin. I really love him. I hope they. Do his hair blonde. Team Julian. Oh, 
I really can't wait for that to happen. It's, it's already begun. It's already. it's already begun. When we first heard that the guy from Secret Life, uh, Darren Kagsoff, was cast as Alex, it grew on me very, very quickly. But he's just really excited to be Alex. That's so why I'm so precious. That's why I'm so okay with him. He's like taking a picture with Delirium. He's like, oh, I'm reading it. I'm so excited. And I'm like, that's precious. It's just so cute. Oh my god, I just want to hug him. Oh and that made god. me excited about it. Oh, and Greg Sulkin's so excited about this too. It was yeah, kind of precious. He's, he's I'm really happy with who they have casted for Thomas Feynman, who is Billy Campbell. I like him. He looks like how I pictured him to be. I'm totally cool with him. I'm actually as happy with him as I am with Emma Roberts being casted as Lena. Oh. A woman as, as the, mayor. the mayor. I mean, because we're fresh out of Requiem, we're like, but that's a big yeah, deal. Yeah, that's a big book. deal. That's a huge deal. And I mean, like, they can change it. I get that. But, like, the mayor has to have the son. It has to be Fred. It has to, has to happen. It yeah. has to happen. She looks too mean to be the mayor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Jane Mason, who plays Hannah, um... Mm, 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 mm. Blonde. Yeah. And the appearance is a big deal for us because that's how we've pictured her. <laughs> Books give you way too much room to imagine. So we all have our each individual idea of who this person is in our head, and that's why no one's ever totally happy with casting of movies or TV series that were originally books. Like, actors that are so psyched for this, like even Janine Mason, I'm still growing on her. I, I might get there eventually, I, I'm okay with her. I, I don't think I will grow. Like, um, until I see her as Hannah. Her mom is now her, her dad. Yeah, her dad. Her, her dad, they've taken her mom out completely and replaced her mom with her dad. I'm actually okay with this, though. I am not. They have to have grace. They have to have grace. They have to have the trailer scene out in the wilds with Alex. They have to have that <laughs> they with the have poetry. They have to! Please, guys, really let's, let's have the Elizabeth Barrett Browning poem. Please, please. Uh, That's the one thing I ask of this season. Please, let's have it in there. Please. <sighs> Oh, did I love her? Let me get the wave! Oh my god, I love him! Oh, 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 That's why it sounds so familiar! So are they supposed to make, like, the first season of Delirium, the TV show, since the first episode is supposedly going to be just Delirium, is the rest of it going to be pandemonium? Is it going to be her in the wild? And then have flashbacks where we had, almost like with Requiem, how we had from Hannah's perspective, so that we get to see oh, the other yeah, worlds. Oh, yeah, that's true. That could work. Or, like, in Pandemonium, how there was then and now. now. Yeah. Okay, guys, so it has been fun, and share your thoughts down there, whether you're okay with the casting, who you would have preferred, or who you're most happy with casted, or your theories for the first episode. And if you need Lauren's Tumblr to send her suggestions, we have that link down there in the description. So I'll see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye! Bye. Go follow that shit. And <laughs> Can we follow the notebooks in our spare time? Sensual, Sensual notebook rubbing. Cats off. Cats off. Cats off. It's a palindrome. It's a palindrome, guys. She says she eats her friends some spinach. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you have a metaphorical vagina. Like this right here, about here, I think is a good Julie color. Just <laughs> give a backstreet boy a high five. something else in sign language. I could have meant fuck me from behind in sign language for all I know. No. Sombrero! Sombrero! This is also stupid, so... Stu oh, stupid. that's so close! <laughs> I know, this is, this is, this is stupid and this is Mexican. <laughs> sign language lessons with us! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, sign language 101, should we be Yeah. We're so funny. <laughs> I'm trying to look happy. <laughs> Do I look happy? <laughs> you got the blood. <laughs>
Christmas play. We're weird. 